On Memorial Day, we honor those who paid the ultimate price for our freedom. Valor and sacrifice typically top the list when honoring the attributes of our fallen heroes. But a select few have found the strongest weapon against the enemy forces is the Word of God. CBN's Brody Carter shares the stories of those who've become missionaries for Marines. The Marine Corps culture is one of service. Uh, one of the things that really attracted me to the Marine Corps, in fact, were the fact that Marine Corps leadership and values uh, really are hand in hand with the biblical model of uh, leadership and a kind of the, the uh, biblical character that God uh, show, gives us through Jesus. Lieutenant Colonel John Dalby has been a U.S. Marine for 19 years. He served in five overseas deployments and remembers how strong the presence of God was for him in the battlefield. I can remember my first deployment to Iraq as a young second lieutenant. I was quoting those verses in my mind that I'd memorized as a youth. Uh, you know, verses like Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Do not be anxious about everything, anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Do you understand that? Yes, sir! While serving in some of the deadliest regions of war, Lieutenant Colonel Dalby was able to be a force for good, leading Bible studies, ministering to his men, and teaching them how to live in relationship with God. I mean, this is in Iraq you know, with guys who were going on combat patrols. And so we would just pray together, open the word together. And so that was, you know, for seven months, I got to lead a Bible study in my unit. For many service members, claiming to be a believer with Christ is common. Almost 70% of our military members claim to be one. However, living out and exercising that faith as a U.S. Marine is not. Honestly, I was not walking out my faith. I was, you know, I was the one that was claiming to be. But on the inside, honestly, I was rotten. I knew I was rotten. I was doing everything but being a child of God. Sergeant Major Mark Bird says he's a prime example of a service member who wrestled with his identity and his faith. That is until he was asked to be a missionary for Marines. We have a, a gap that we want to fill within our ministry. Have you ever thought about missionary work? And I was like, whoa, missionary work. He talking about going, you know, out in faraway countries. I, I've never thought about that. He was approached by the CEO of Tun Tavern Fellowship, a nonprofit paying homage to the birthplace of the Marines. It's a network of Christian Marines discipling one another in their relationship with Jesus Christ. Those who serve say its lessons are invaluable when in the trenches. Service members in general, um, and Marines in particular, do have a unique need because you're faced with the reality that your life could be on the line at any given uh, time. Especially those that are professing Christians and really believe it. It's nothing more, um, I would say, sacred. It's nothing more comforting to know that my brother that fought to my left and right was a believer, was a Christian. Through weekly Bible studies or informal gatherings around the kitchen table, Marines worldwide have been able to strengthen their faith their families, and show their brothers and sisters in arms what it means to be a person of refined character. As Memorial Day approaches, there are many loved ones that we have lost, and uh, taking the time just to remember the sacrifice they made um, is really valuable uh, for us. Lieutenant Colonel Dalby says for those able to give, whether it be through prayer or financial support, Tun Tavern Fellowship has a number of opportunities you can participate and be encouraged by. Brody Carter, CBN News.